Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn about X4 for looping data and displaying them. If you have a lot of data and you want to display them in your document, you can use X4 in Alpine.js and it is really easy to use. So X4 is one of the directives and there are a few things you have to know about this one. You must always use it in a template element and it, the template element must be like the parent. It shouldn't have multiple child, only one child. So let's go to the code editor and see how it is going to work. I have already created a file in here and this is my component and I want to display a to-do list in here. So here I can create an object called to-do list and I can assign an, an object or an array in here. Let's put an example data in this array. For example, one of the to-do is going to shopping, record YouTube video. And these are the to-do list. Now you, you can see these are like comma separate value. This is my array. If I want to display them in here, I can display them in a list item, right? If I am looping through the li, I have to display, I have to add the template. As I said, the loop should be in the template and the template should be parent of ul, parent of li because I am repeating li in here. Now in here, I will, at my x4 it is this much simple now how would i do this one i can create a to do variable in here and i say loop through to do list which is my array in here now for each of those it is going to assign it to to do and now in here i can display it. as we learned in the previous video using x text we can display the value of to do it is shopping record youtube video and more i save it let's open it in the browser and see how it is going to work here you go it looped the data and display them in a nice proper way in here now it is fine and everything is looking good in here now you can understand one of the other thing you have to know is like how would you put this one is first second third and fourth that is called indexing if you want to get the index value of a for loop it is very useful sometimes you say if i am in the third loop do this if i'm in the fourth one do this you can do it uh, in here also so what you can do is you can put to do inside uh, this parenthesis as a function and the second value you can display a key or an index in here now the index will be starting from zero one two three and then so on and so forth and it will be like that so if you want to display this index in here let's do some math in here so what you can do is you can come oops you know it, it will display to do in here so what i will do is i'm going to concatenate this with this empty value and this part also with index i'll save it let's see if the index is going to display in here now let's refresh the page and here you go zero one two three four one of the important thing about like loop is you have to use a key value like a key uh, your loop element should have a key in here it is it is re like required to use but if you don't use you don't get any error but it is recommended to use it so you will display the key in here we are going to bind it and we have to display it in here why it is useful the reason is because this data will get repeated and it is really easy to get them uh, when you are when you are have when you are having this key value in here that way it will make this element unique to this one and this key is very important now if i come here refresh it everything should be fine again i am going to remove this part we don't need this one i just showed you how it is going to display the index that's fine now let's put an input above this one with a button to add more value to this to-do list. Now, here is how we can do this one. I'm going to oops, come in here. Let's open a div. You can give it a class. I'm not going to do this one. I'll put it inside the paragraph and input, which is store our to-do in here. Now, how would you do this one? And also, let's not put it inside the paragraph. Let's just put it in here and also we have a button add to do. 
this is much simple if I come and refresh it this is add to do not a lot of design but it should add a value in this one so here is how we do this one we have to use X model in this example so X model is going to add a value to one of the properties in here which we do not have I'm going to add it in here at the at the end at the bottom anywhere you can add I am going to add it as a title and by default it is going to be empty or you can just say it, it is null and that should work just fine but I'll put it as empty so if you added anything it should automatically add an empty to do but we can prevent that like using the validation in the future but for now this is basically what we want so if I come here refresh it everything is working fine now when someone click on this we already learn about click event so we can use the at click event in here I can add the value of this one to this array it is very simple so here is how you can do this one you can say to do dot push and you are pushing title in here now if I save it let's check if it's working or not so if I add more work to do and click in this add it is adding an empty value in here what did happen I think yeah we didn't connect these two together so it should be title we didn't connect this one to sync it together now if I come in here I'll copy my text refresh the page add the to do add to do and it is adding here if I add more it's going to repeat the same to do in here so what you can do is if you want to be more specific and after doing this you can make that empty like you can say title is equal to empty these are all the things that you can do in Alpine so everything should be here you add the to do and you add it and it makes the input empty and you can also add a condition in here if you want to like say if the to do is if the title is equal to empty return something or something or not you can add those validation but for now if I add it it is going to add empty value you can add validation but the idea is to get how you are going to add to do in here so I hope this video has been informative and you learn how this loop is going to work in Alpine and in the future video we will touch more examples of how you can loop through dynamic data but for now this is all you have to learn about um, loop and for in Alpine.js thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video